What is going on guys, XX Ghost Ninja 187 here, and today I'm going to bring you guys my best class up, up video for the new DLC gun called the Ripper. It is it got introduced to the PlayStation Nation last Friday. But if you don't have the season pass, because you had to have the season pass to get it on Friday, if you don't have the season pass, you'll get it on the May 8th with the second DLC map pack called Devastation. So don't worry about that. You guys will still get that. But I'm going to introduce to you guys my attachments, my perks, and what I'm trying to do is get a KEM strike, like I said, in my gameplay with it. So I'll go through that too. So today I'm pretty much the best attachments I've been using today with was... uh. Silencer is awesome. It always keeps you off the map. I use that on every gun besides the sniper, so I would really recommend that. Almost on all of your guns. If you guys have any questions about any guns, you guys can always comment below, ask some questions. I'll definitely answer them if you guys do leave that comment. Also, I'm using foregrip. I find foregrip really useful on it. It just increases the accuracy with it and just makes the gun a lot more. No kick with it, really, less kick with it. So definitely would recommend that. Uh, I'm using the new, um, not even going to say it because I suck at saying this, uh, Mac or Mac or enough, I don't know. I'm using that DLC content, new camo, looking pretty snazzy if you ask me. Uh, I'm using no secondaries, no lethals, or tacticals. You know why? Because it gives you three more points for your perks, which would be like a stalker. So don't really use those unless I'd maybe put like a secondary for a sniper, so... Put a secondary for a sniper, that's all I got for a sniper is a secondary. But for any guns, don't use secondaries, lethal, or tacticals. If you're feeling like you want to, then f fuck it, use it, alright? But let's go back up to here. My KD ratio is a 2.33, that is not really good, but it's decent. My actual KD is about a 2.6, so I'll try to work that KD up, maybe do another video on this in the near future if some people still have questions. I might fuck around with it a little bit more, find out different more classes and all that with it. But perks I'm using wise are I'm th these are really the main perks I use on all my guns. Besides snipers, I might like quick that put that for quick draw. But usually I use stalker, awesome for if you're getting shot at. Definitely recommend that you're moving while you're getting shot at. And just it just I don't know I like it. Some people don't like it, but that's your personal opinions. But also, I'm using Dead Silence. There's a lot of sound horror people in this game. So, Dead Silence, it, even though I Amplify, people can still detect you and still can hear you. People who don't have Amplify on, so maybe some newbie kids might not have it on. So, I definitely would recommend Dead Silence. That's an awesome perk to have. And also, we're going to have Amplify on for those sound whores like me. Guys, I, I sound whore. I'm not going to lie. A lot of people do in this game. That is how you're going to get your KD up. So that's a good tip. KD goes up with sound whoring. All right? Sound whore, KD up. So, guys, that's about it. I'm going to do the focus. And that is awesome. If you guys don't know what focus is, it's toughness from Black Ops 2. And if you don't know what toughness is from Black Ops 2, it is when you're getting shot at, your gun is not going to fly up to the sky. It's going to be right dead centered onto your target. And you're going to get those nice snazzy kills. So focus, guys. Hit that bitch up. Slap a bitch. Hit a hoe. You feel me? No. Also, guys, fully loaded. If you guys are going to get those KEM strikes like you guys see on screen here with the specialist, you guys are going to need some good ammo. And, yeah, you're going to need a lot of ammo. So fully loaded. Hit that bitch up, too. Also, guys, I will run right through my specialist, and I'm gonna, gonna have to see you later, buddy. But first, what I'm using is sit rep. I'm pissed off with all those goddamn IEDs. I can't stand them. Fuck you, IEDs. Whoever made those in Call of Duties is stupid as hell. So that is why I'm using sit rep, because I don't want to get blown up by a goddamn IED. They piss me off. Also, I'm using sleight of hand. Sleight of hand really is awesome. Feels more faster. I don't know. I feel more quick, more agility. And that brings agility into this conversation. Agility I'm using, your movement's more increased. Definitely with some machine guns, you kind of want to put agility on. You'll feel more just going around corners and smaller maps. You'll just you'll just kind of be like a little snake, all right? You'll be more snaky in those maps. So hit agility up if you don't have agility. You feel me, bruh? Also, I see you. No, I do not see you, but... ICU is awesome. If you never used it, it regenerates your health faster. So let's say some like newbie fuck throws a grenade across the map. Woo! Boom! Blows you up a little bit. 
your health is going down, you're getting shot at, you don't know what to do. That where ICU comes in and whoop, brings your health two times faster as it would if you didn't have it on. So hit that up. Also, for those SATCOM lovers, no. You put off the grid on and you are undetected by SATCOMs and those ping motherfuckers, which is this is ping if you didn't know what that is. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't. And if you guys are new to my channel, please give it a like. And also, guys, if you are new, subscribe to my fucking channel, bruh. So that's going to be about it for this video. So peace out, guys. If you guys have any questions, comment also. So.